Thank you for joining this morning. I'm going to talk about one one page case study model that I created along with Caroline Vega. And I'm going to talk about the art of proof stacking. What is proof stacking? I'm going to show you the model. I'm going to show you how we apply it to SEO. And I'm going to show you how we uh, onboard clients. Uh, and this is what you can expect in our masterminds. Let me walk you through this. This is Bob Knackle. And Bob is uh, reportedly the, the most successful real estate broker in the history of New York City. He sold 2,200 buildings. He's done over $20 billion in sales. Bob, I've known for many years. I worked with him for 10, 12 years. And I learned the proof stacking model offline from Bob. And I worked with him for 10 years. And then I started my own business. And then we reconnected this year after many years of not working together. And he heard about the one-page case study model. He didn't know that I had created it. Somebody told him about it. And he looked into the one-page case study model. And he's like, oh my gosh, that's it. And so he reached out to me. I explained to Bob what we were doing and how we've taken this whole model of creating case studies, simple one-pagers that you can bang out very, very quickly. And then we convert them to an SEO strategy and how we repeat the model over and over and over, how we use press releases to promote each one and how you can dominate local markets. So this is what I did was for Bob to understand what we were doing, because he's he's been marketing offline for many, many years, and that's how he's built this fabulous business. But he's never done anything online. Just this year, he started using social media. He's gotten a big audience on social media, but he's not doing anything on Google. And there's a big market share that he's missing by not having the footprint on Google. And what we wanted to do, and I wanted to show him, is how we can dominate Manhattan. And how do you do that? How do you dominate New York City? And so what I did was I put this page together so that he could live in the marketing. And I wanted him to see how we're going to amplify your impressive offline success in New York City, how we can establish a commanding online presence, that kind of thing. I hit him with the news that we promote and how we do it. I wanted to introduce him to the media that we use. Then I wanted to go down here and show him an example of what we do. And I'm going to show you real quick uh, what we did. This is very typical. And so what we, he has a book, uh, many books of all the completed deals he's done. Now, this is what he has done offline. He takes one pagers like these, he binds them up into a professional looking hard copy bound book. And he uses this as his sales tool. And the whole concept is to keep stacking them and amplify them one after the other, after the other, after the other. This is an ongoing strategy. Now, I bring this up because Bob mastered this. And what it really does is the important thing to understand about the case study model, the one-page case study model, is it amplifies proof. And the, the, what, the reason why proof works is because, and what we focus on here at one, the one-page case study mastermind is we look as at buyers potential clients as doubters because that's what that's what, what the what the case studies do is when they show proof they create trust but why and the reality is is that consumers are doubtful we call them doubters and they go through an entire process they go through this multi-step journey and we're all wired that way. We're wired as we're skeptical, we're risk averse. Is it right for me? We don't want to get bamboozled, right? And that's that's the reason why this model works so well because it amplifies proof. Now, if you look at Bob's success, the reason why he's been he's risen to the top is because he never stopped this. I think that's such a valuable lesson is that so many people stop their marketing or they deviate from what's working. And this is a model that all you have to do, it's a very simple model. We have it all templated out. So I wanted to show Bob what a case study looks like. I wanted to show him display ads. How do display ads work? How do the display ads amplify the case study model? How do they amplify the proof? Because that's what we're doing. We're stacking the proof. What we did was we created these sample ads pasted them on a New York Post 
page so that Bob could see what it looks like. I wanted to show that we actually do this for ourselves. I don't want to just say we do this for clients. I want to say we do this for ourselves. We're always testing things on our own to make sure that we're going in the right direction. We want to test the results. So I wanted to show Bob, hey, we're doing this for ourselves. We don't just do this for other clients. And that's a really, really key thing in any marketing is if you're not doing any marketing for yourself, how can you validate what you're doing? That it's really valuable. Again, we're big on bullet points. There's a whole science behind bullet points, how we use them. I wanted to show, get into the, I wanted to show Bob the press releases and talk about the press release strategies, how we use press releases, how we get them ranking. And I wanted to talk to him about the Google business profile and the kind of results that he can achieve. He was not aware that there was this kind of value in Google because he'd never used it before. He'd never needed to, but that's what we're implementing now. So I showed him a few things. And then what we did was we created this Google map. Now, this is something that is really, really valuable as part of your entire strategy, how to use Google Maps, how to use really creates a, a significant signal to Google. Now, I wanted to show you just what we did. Um, once we just started getting going, we are just working on building out a website and we're just in the beginning of implementing the strategy. So we really don't have much to work with. So one of the things I found on his uh, LinkedIn page where he's getting tremendous following, uh, where he, I found this, where people are referring to this map room that he created. And that's a really another big thing too, is that Bob has mastered identifying his market. And that is the key to everything first. Forget about SEO and social media. You have to identify your market first. The more defined our market is, the more we know where to go. We know what the system is. We know that if we keep doing something over and over and over, that we are going to get success. If you don't know what your market is and how to stay in front of your market and deliver proof, then you're going to deviate. You're not going to have a plan. It's not going to succeed. And we talk about this a lot. Okay. I want to show you an example of the, uh, you know, this map room. And this is this is so, there's so much to learn uh, here. And let me, uh, let me play this through just one second. Okay, here it is. So here, this is just an amazing example of how one individual has focused so hard on defining his market. And that is the key thing. So because now he's got his market, he knows how many people are in his market. He knows how frequently he needs to talk to them. He knows what resonates. What Bob has done is he has identified his market. He uses proof in the form of one page success stories and market insights. Market insights are market information. Very simple system. So identify your market, success stories, market insights, promote with press releases. And then there's the whole SEO strategy that we have implemented over the years. And I've never heard of any other marketers out there getting the kind of results we do. But I've seen seven figure projects come in for clients in many different markets, a lot of construction. We had a, we had a client that implemented a model like this for a radiology company and they were bought out for 450 million. I don't hear people talking about those kind of results. And this is all based on this model, what I learned working for Bob many years ago. And I took Bob's model that enabled him to build a successful business that he sold for a hundred million. And I've taken that and I've applied it online. And this is what we talk about in the one page case study model mastermind. You know, this is the, what I call the art of proof stacking. And there's many ways to create proof and proof the way we start as I said, with the uh, the one-page case studies, but we've used them many different ways. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, introduce this. This is what you can expect when you join our mastermind. This is the level that we're talking, that, that we talk about. I'm going to be posting 
along with Caroline Vega and I, we're going to be posting about what we're doing for Bob and other clients. Every step of the way, you're going to learn things that we never even knew. We've implemented so many different strategies over the years that are going to go into Bob's plan. Hope you'll uh, join us and learn how you can apply this to your own business. Whether you're a marketer or you're a business owner or you're a real estate broker or you're a law firm, or it, it doesn't matter what it is, this strategy works universally. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, thank you for spending the time. And I uh, hope you'll join us in the one page case study mastermind and learn the art of proof stacking. It will definitely have an impact on your business. This individual right here has done it. He's built a business based on this whole model. We've taken that model and we've applied it online. Thanks for watching.